that's not the picture I went for, but I guess that's the picture we got. That may also seem a little bit like we're authorities. I guess stopping to take a photo of the RV <laughs> may make him a little bit more paranoid. Sorry about that. I hope I didn't get anybody in trouble. Anyway, we're going to take our asses back to the, uh, the post office. If I can ever get the autopilot to, to work for me. And just like that, I'm going to take back over from autopilot and boom, the store should be up here on the right hand side. And we'll park in our favorite spot right here. Oh, uh, the spot designated babes only. All right. And um, let's return. Oh, wait, it's in the back of the truck. It's been a longer day than usual just because everything was so spread out as far as like getting the packages. But that autopilot, man, the hats off to the developers for recognizing that autopilot is very, very important. I love that the Karate Kid is on the front as well as Ghostbusters. I don't know if we noticed that before, but it is on there. So I thought I'd point it out again. Hey, babe, I don't know if we're doing that together. Like, are we both saying that? Or are you just saying that? We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Why does she seem different? Like she's concerned about something or... Or is uh, something wrong? Yeah, she seems different. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Uh, yeah, what the hell? Oh, easy there. I just did you a favor, remember? Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty wow. Dozen. Wow, super friendly right now. Had not best mix these two up. Uh, I'm on it. Don't you wish you're pretty little head about it? Change my mind, not doing it. All right, well. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm hmm. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. That talk seemed effective. I, I, I don't know. We'll deliver it. Whatever, man. I don't know who we're delivering this to, though. Put the mail in the... Are you waiting for me? Sorry about... Oh, Jesus. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. I didn't realize it was going to be like that, y'all. I did not realize it was going to be like that. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to get my vehicle here and then uh, I'm going to fix this traffic jam. Oh, thank you all for not honking and being assholes about it. I love small towns. Love being back here. I'm just going to get out of y'all's way and take this to... Uh, wait a minute. Just give me one more second as I check the map to find out where it is in this place that I am supposed to head to deliver these two uh, here. Oh. Okay, Bert. I'm on my way, Bert. All right. Now we got to take this long walk from here all the way up to Bert, but that's okay. We'll just enjoy the scenery. Oh, I should totally get a picture while I'm at it. I don't know if I can do both. Can you, Well, I mean, maybe because it's just a camera. So one hand, that thing, right? Let's get a quick. Nope, we can't. All right. Well, we'll just speed walk as best we can over to Bert. Oh, he's on his fishing boat, so he kind of half the distance that we need to go from last time. Perfect. Or not. Hey, Bert. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? But that's such a long walk. I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. I was going to say Jaws, but dude works on a boat, so that may terrify, terrify the living hell out of him. So he may not be a fan of Jaws. So let's do the Dirty Dozen. Fine. Enjoy the Dirty Dozen, bro. So we don't ruin his, like, nice <laughs> love of boats, especially his boat being so little. Cool. We're turning to the post office, and guess what? I don't have to walk all the way back to my machine. All I got, I mean, my truck. I didn't mean to call it a machine. That felt so wrong. We're going to return right to the post office just by autopiloting, and boom, it throws you right back on the road just like that. I let go, and then it takes over. We'll see you at the post office. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> Wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. 
Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Damn, all of that are answer me. <laughs> Alright, 11 a.m. Sunday. That's not going to interfere with our plan to hang out with Lori, I don't think. Because I don't know why we'd watch it in the morning. I think we said 6 p.m. or something like that, so that should be fine. Yeah, go meet Kay. Why wouldn't you meet Kay? Um, that's hilarious that it cut her off, though. I think that is absolutely hilarious. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshu's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Oh, that book sounds so... So dry, I have to be honest. That sounds mad dry. Oh, we're back on at it. New game? Or not. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There's so much space. Which is probably true. So far, I've delivered quite a few packages and letters, home movies, and even a living creature. Did we deliver a living creature? I don't remember doing that. Oh, I guess the cat. That's right. I wonder what next week we'll bring. But not before ending this week with two meetings with friends. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. Ooh, Fan this does look cool. M, up here. Hiya. Should I just come up? Come on up. You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. I have to what on the what now? I have to what on on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. You were never even in this scout. Look, you you were never even in the scout. I love that. That's a funny line. Whew. I'm up in one piece. It's all good. Call off the dogs. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It does look nice. Need to get a photo. If they, hopefully they'll let us. Uh. <sighs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? After school, talking about whatever we felt like, coming up here by myself at night, not really anything in particular. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Um hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you were standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. Oh. 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 Why aren't their mouths moving? What is going on with my game? I need y'all's mouths moving. It's freaking me out that sounds are coming with words. <laughs> oh man, mouths are not matching up. Um I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. I basically worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... it 
gets a bit busy sometimes. Hmm. I can imagine Providence Oaks is less complicated. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? Definitely feel like it's, uh, I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. That's for me to know and me to find out. Um, I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. Wow, that didn't take much. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. And then? Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music, but I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed, helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Um. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Um... And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. They basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's been tough. But looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the hmm. world below? That was a good conversation. It's interesting that her headband has, like, a Prince of Persia vibe. I can't remember which particular game, but there's one that had, like, those pastel coloring shadings to it, and it just... That... Those particular colors, the red and the purple, remind me of that game. Um, and also their conversation again hits home the point of like what's important in life finding it focusing in on that and not what everybody tells you is important in life I love that love that message uh, nah, I think I'll stick around enjoy the view some more <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower be careful not to get too used to it young lady okay mm, thanks for the invite I'm glad I came by just Try to cut down the word count on the answering machine <laughs> next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was good. Watch the third on the on your with the step. 
best advice we got. So hopefully you take that advice to uh, to heart as well. Every day, or every night, I guess I should say. Hello. You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? I'm sorry. I'm not interested in telemarketing. Meredith, silly. It's me, Steve. Please, tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. At it 87, in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. Wow. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue! M -m -m millions and and it's just the start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Well, at least he's taking her opinion into consideration before signing this deal. I'm wondering if this is going to come down between choosing this life here, the simple life with the uh, uh, a family and returning to her roots and giving up millions of dollars and like the career she thought she wanted versus choosing the life of what she's been planning this and planning and working towards this entire time but giving up the small town roots and which one makes more sense gotcha steve don't worry about it awesome i'll be in touch again tuesday evening i'm so excited and i just can't hide it it is millions of dollars. They're about to be millionaires, so I can see why he'd be a little excited right now. I can also see why it'd be hard for her to turn that it's down. Official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. I'm trying to think of how that movie goes and how awkward it would be to watch that with a 16-year-old that you just met. I don't remember it that well. I remember there's a lot of deaths. Isn't that the one where Johnny Depp dies with through the bed? It can be intense. I don't know. I don't remember that well. Um, you weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Yeah, okay. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. I thought she was 16 already. Wrong. I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks, and I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh, well, maybe. I think... You should really give school a chance. Working at your father's shop could be great. Maybe you can start traveling. Oh, boy. Uh... uh I, okay, I know for a fact that one, if that's not where your heart's at, that's a bad decision. Maybe you can start traveling. Traveling seems to be where her heart lies. If she wants to meet new people and see new things, especially growing up in a home, in in her home state, where she's born, with no other kids to really hang out with, and homeschool. Yeah, I think traveling. Because school's not for everybody either. So maybe once you're done with school, you can travel. start traveling. Go out and see the world. If like you have you the money, you wanted, meet new people, do new things, be a free spirit. I think that could be cool too. But I'd have to get my license first. And a car. But I guess I can save up money while I'm working for my dad anyway. And I've always wanted to see the Smithsonian Museum. Oh, oh, or Sequoia National Park in Cali. Yeah. Um. Well, maybe try something local first. Those are very far away. I'd start with just Oregon. You can always go bigger from there. You're right, Meredith. Thank you. Also for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. 
Later. Again, signs of a small town community. She's allowed to walk home by herself in the middle of the night, and nobody's worried about anything happening. That's good. Oh, Steve's parcel. Good to see. And another note from Tess. Hey, M. Here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. Man in the suit. Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Uh... I mean, yeah, pretty um, much. I mean, I, I think so. Yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? Not if I didn't read it beforehand like you probably did. I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Yes, very bad. Not good, not good at all. Oh, okay. Sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. It seems like you take your position a little too seriously. That's what we need to be concerned about, but uh, what is this about? If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Let me hear it. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Yes? I think. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Oh boy. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, yes and no, no, but yes, but no, but yes, but no, but y yes. yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No, I've never been told that. No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. I think we might have just screwed Frank, but, you know, um, not going to put Meredith's future as a postal worker in trouble because Frank didn't tell us shit when we asked him a question about it. He said... Yeah, should have told us the truth. Maybe we could have protected him. But I don't know what's going on with Frank, so he's gonna have to handle that himself. And we're back to delivering packages and mail. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Also, with that moment, we needed something like that to happen because that is giving me a little bit more hook into the game. Although there's a sweet message and, the, and it looks great, there hasn't been much for me to do other than pick random options that don't seem to have much consequence. So we definitely needed something with that um, seriousness and gravitas to it. I like that. So hopefully there's more of that uh, forthcoming here to give the game more spice. Oh boy. All right. Um, I'm just gonna deliver a bunch of packages and I'll let you know when something cool happens, I guess. It just teleported us. I love that. Okay, that's funny. So we literally had a package delivered right to the corner there at the motel, and I was all the way over here at the bear camp because I thought we had something to do there, but that's just a random marking. And uh, I decided to autopilot over here, and instead of driving us over here, it just teleported us. It was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> let's just let's just drop them off there. So even the game is sometimes like, I'm not driving that. That's ridiculous. All right, uh, let's go drop this package off at the motel. I guess I'll show that one real quick, and then we'll go back to um, me, you know. 
doing my thing without showing it. Show you my perfect parallel skill. Not my parallel skill, my backing up skills is what I meant with no backup camera, just all luck. All luck, stop, stop, stop. There we go, there we go. All right, cool. That seemed good enough. Hope I left enough room to get back there, actually. I did. Perfect. Only package left. Pretty big package, too. You grab it? What the fudge? Why didn't you grab it? Thank you. That's lighter than I thought. She says that a lot. A lot. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. do. Hey, haven't seen this guy in a while. All oh, right, he doesn't like being talked to. You know what? Let's just say nothing, cause I mean, he doesn't say anything. We'll say nothing. We'll just. Excuse me. What's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Hmm. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Yeah, that's what that sounds like. Oh, interesting. I work in computers too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. Yep, just like playing games also doesn't count as working in computers. Love these dialogue Don't choices. More computers to deliver? We are not going to get along. I can tell that already, and I am here for it. Absolutely here for it. Oh, you can talk to him again. What do we need to talk to him about it? Huh. Or not. Oh, we are not friends. <laughs> we may have lost that on either a cool option or, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, the ability to rent a room here. Don't really care because he was kind of a dick. We are going to take a picture of his location though because, you know, why not? But I'm going to focus more on my mail truck being in the shot because it's like the focus of the whole game, right? Lovely. Lovely shot of the mail truck right there. Right there. And you know what? We'll also get a shot of just that sign because it's kind of cool, especially with the moon in the background. I like that. It's a good shot right there. Just kind of angle it right here and voila. All right, we're almost halfway through the shot, so hopefully the person likes what we've done so far. In the meantime, we're gonna keep going and deliver uh, another weed package to the campground. I mean, paper package to the campground. Something we know nothing about, and hopefully we don't get asked questions by Mr. Postal Worker Man, because I'm not answering those. All right, looks like we've reached our destination. Doesn't matter, because I'm not showing this bit unless something happens here. Oh no, wait. I'm definitely showing this bit because she's going to say something. There's no way she doesn't say anything because we're walking up to Our her, so. Sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. The hell are y'all smoking in there? Yikes. I don't guess bad trips happen. Well, actually. When I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. Well, wasn't there just like that fish storm in a uh, city in Texas? Like all those fish got picked up and dropped off in the middle of the city? Maybe that happened. You're right by the lake. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey. Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, no, he was drinking. Right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Did you grow tired of the lake already? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We should Look not. Campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. They seem like they're running from somebody. I don't feel like what they've got going on is necessarily as good and peaceful as just two hippies living out in the middle of the woods. Um. Oh, 
cool. We're gonna get shot, but yeah, sure, why not? Add some excitement Drone. to our life. Awesome. Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. And that guy's a dick, so I may snitch on him. May have to go ahead and let a few pieces of evidence drop in his occasion. Why do I why is my mouse is just <laughs> my mouse has just been sitting that entire time and I did not know that. Did not mean to do that. I am so sorry if that's been bothering anybody. Um alright, well we delivered that. I think we can go around here and uh what's this? Oh wait, we gotta pick up the movie box still. Hopefully he liked the movie old Dirty Dozen. I don't or no, just Dirty Dozen. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. I've heard of it, I think, but I don't remember it that well. Wow, autopilot really just drove us into the damn gate. Okay, well, great collision detecting sensor we got going on there. I mean, right into that gate. That is hilarious. Also, I love autopilot. Even though it's drunk, it does a good job of letting me just completely hands off. This is the future. I cannot wait for self-driving cars. It's got to be a lot safer than what's going on right now. Hey, Bert, I'm here to pick up that movie machine. Where have I left you at? Where is Bert? Bert's not on his boat. I didn't make him watch Jaw, so I know he's not terrified of his boat. Really think that was a good decision. Part of me almost picked Jaws because I was like, oh, he's a fisherman. He's going to love Jaws. And then I really thought about the context of what Jaws was about. And I saw his little rinky dink boat and I was just like, no, 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 no. Especially if you've never seen it. And this is like the age of new movies being introduced to people where they don't watch movies all that often. Jaws is not the, not the movie there, for him. Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did, I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Didn't like it much. Oh. Silly war fantasies. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, I, I really didn't think you would like Jaws. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Damn, I should have shown him Jaws. I just, in my head, it just made sense not to show him Jaws, and now I feel like we may have lost Angie a customer because we did not pick the right movie for him. Um, sad, sad that that happened. I'm sorry. I really thought we were being smart there. Because even the way that they framed the shot of him out there on the water in his boat, scream, don't show him Jaws. If you know what Jaws is about, it's about a shark attacking and, ki and killing everything in the water. So why would I show him that, boat, that, that movie? But maybe now they were saying more of, hey, this is a clue that... He would love a movie about sharks and water. I don't know. Okay, I guess next time we'll be like more like obvious with our, our choice selection. Like if somebody owns dogs and we have a choice between showing them, I don't know, uh, Aristocrat, Aristocats and um, what's the other one? Uh, or Snow Bud, we'll pick, I said Snow Bud, Air Bud, <laughs> we'll pick Air Bud. In the meantime, I think that's all of our packages for the day, so. Back to the movie shack. Oh wow. Oh, no, I didn't know it, but they even park it in my favorite babe spot. Cool. So now we don't have to worry about um, blocking traffic all over the place. Also, oh, would this get us in trouble? Because technically we're conducting personal business right now for personal gain with this whole movie business thing. I don't know if that's going to come back to haunt us, but I feel like it might. your movie box back you happier Thanks yet so much babe listen i owe you an apology there she is yeah you do i was kurt just plain kurt and here you are delivering movies for me you deserve better it's okay no one can be perked up all the time so any idea what caused it business is slow more than slow i mean the flick shack is in real trouble that movie box kind of was my last ditch marketing effort nothing's worked so Ooh, far. i probably did not help them with my movie choice uh that's awful what'll you do if the store goes bust i mean i don't know without the store there's really not much here for me and po so you just up and leave i don't know Maybe. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got 
Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Cool, we don't have any other plans. Um... Uh... Hmm... I mean... What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what oh, I mean okay, she is hitting on her. I mean, she called her babe, babe like five times. I don't know if that was me just like making it a thing. But I think that pretty much solves that. <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Whatever works. All right, going to the movies. Um, I really feel bad that we effed up that whole movie box thing now, because I, man, I thought I was being smart there. That almost makes me want to go all the way back and just give him the other movie, but that is a lot of mail and packages to re-deliver that I just, I don't have the heart for. I can't do it. I can't. I hope her business doesn't go under. Hopefully we get another chance to deliver that thing there. I mean, she got one customer for sure, right? Because, like, the kid loved Nightmare on Elm Street, so, you know. And she loved Ladybug, too, so you got to see both movies. And and Bert may not have been, like, the best person to send a movie to. Like, there's other people we can try, for sure. Like, the Cat Lady, I'm sure there's some cat movies we can find. And the Woods Dude, we can find, I don't know, Deliverance for him or something like that. Make sure we're parking our vehicle in the right way here. Don't want that post office guy to come back and ask us why we aren't properly disposing of our vehicle. I mean, tucking our vehicle in at night. Here we go. Tucking it in, tucking it in, tucking it in. You know, she gets up mad early to do this job. But I just realized she also now has, like, the rest of her day to do whatever she wants. And it's... If she's done by, like, I don't know, noon or so, probably earlier than that, a lot of day left before she's got to go to bed. A lot of day to get a lot of stuff done. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the post service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Oh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's kind of a lie, That's but... That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? I might have snitched on Frank. Mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. Oh, yeah. He's uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Um... It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> it's her mom. She would tell her mom, right? That's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. That's funny. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. Oh, we got the answer <laughs> on that one. What? Alabama slammers, cheers! 
Every time I go to Florida, I do feel like I want to stay there, man. It does it does have a very unique, fun vibe to it. Is that tonight? That was tonight. Oh shit, it was tonight. This I was fun. trying to remember. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Um. Um. You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose the choice of innocent eyes. Well, I know what not All to do. Right. Let's see. What can we choose? Big trouble in Little China. That's a good one. Velvet. Don't know it. Or the Great Mouse Detective. That could be fun. Uh. All right, I'm ready to pick. We're gonna go see big action movie Great Mouse Detective Blue Velvet. Let me look at what the hell Blue Velvet is even about. Hold on. Blue Velvet. Uh, college student Jeffrey Beaumont returns home after his father has a stroke when he discovers a severed ear in an abandoned field. Beaumont teams up with detective's daughter Sandy Williams, Lord Dern, to solve the mystery. They believe beautiful lounge singer Dorothy Valens may be connected with the case, and Beaumont finds something Find himself becoming drawn into a dark twisted world where he encounters sexually depraved psychopath Frank Booth, Dennis Hopper. It, that doesn't sound as fun. Oh, did we just stop? That doesn't sound as fun as Big Trouble in Little China, but sure, why not? Good choice. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Actually, that movie description made I mean, me want to watch that movie. I'm it sounds pretty good. Of speechless, and that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it, and I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. That bad? Or that point, good? I did begin to wonder, do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> well, give it time. Yeah, I can't tell so the date. Anyway. The date went well then, right? That's what we're saying. It went. It went good. My or parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move. Uh, you can't take anything seriously, can you? I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Um, <laughs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. Um, what computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. Oh, it's getting cute. So, here we are. Now what? The keys are dangling. Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that uh okay well relationship time i think we know what that creepy frank booth character would be thinking right about now oh and she's in a relationship and it's not with richard not how we started and planned this episode to go but whatever things happen right the master plan is never the master plan until it becomes the master plan meredith can i bug you for a second uh yes I wanted to talk to you as well. That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Robert. What I call it? I think I've been calling him Richard again. I know who he's talking about. He's talking about the guy that we had started this episode thinking we were going to go get after. But clearly, our heart is with the video gal. gal. All right. So, um. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or pet We Will it be a P are going to deliver packages. Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time with Robert Zooks. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A 
bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. Uh huh. Back to the music. Back to the music. I'm out. We're on 209 Heron Circle, so all we gotta do is look for a package that's uh, 209 Heron Circle. I have noticed that if you park generally in, for in front of the uh, packaging icon, it is a pretty good indicator of where you need to stop at. So, just like this one, pretty cool. Also, was there a bunny at the end of this? I think I saw a bunny package somewhere. And we're just gonna walk this way. Y'all gotta get a pathway, man. Clearly, y'all's feet is already making its own pathway. Ring the doorbell, they're not gonna answer, then we're gonna drop a package. Answer. Which is why we're gonna drop the package. Have fun. Bye. Don't walk through your grass. The path that y'all are clearly already making with your own feet, y'all just get that paved. Or just create like stones. Like put some cool stones down there. And have one of them press down and like shoot arrows out. Where are we going? Um 